हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेवियर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल हेलो एवरीवन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फैक्टराइजेशन चैप्टर टेस्ट ओके सो हियर द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम नंबर 1 दैट इज 15 2x 3 होल क्यूब देन माइनस हियर 10 2x 3 ओके सो एज हियर यू कैन कॉमन 5 2x minus 3. So whenever you come on 5, it becomes 3 because 5 3 is a 15, and this one will be here 2x minus 3 whole square. Then next one here minus 2 only. Okay, so that means here 5 2x minus 3, and here your answer that is 3 into 2x minus 3 whole square minus 2. Now next one number 2. Number 2 here a into b minus c. Into b plus c minus d into c minus b. So you can write down here a into b minus c that one equal to that was sorry b plus c and here if you common minus so it becomes plus and here b minus c. So now b minus c is common so that one equal to a into b plus c plus d. Okay, so that is your answer. You can also multiply a here so it will be here a b. Plus AC plus D. Okay, now let's move on to next problem. Some number two one. That is two a square x minus b x plus two a square minus b. So as here, if you come on here x, so it will be here two a square minus b, and here if you come on one, here two a square minus b. So that means here x plus one into two a square minus b. That is your answer. Now let's move on to some number two two. That is here p square minus here a plus two b into p plus two ab. So first you have to multiply p with a plus two b. So here ap. The next one here two bp plus two ab. Now here p will be common. So p minus a and here. Uh, I think here 2b, 2b will be common, so again p minus a. So your answer will be here p minus a into p minus 2b. Now next one, sum number 3, 1. X square minus y square z plus y square minus z square into x. So do one thing. First multiply with z. So x square z. Minus y square z plus y square x minus z square x. Now you have to rearrange this one. So x square z minus z square x here plus y square x then minus y square z. So as here if you come on x z so it becomes x minus z. And from the next one if you come on y square here x minus z. So your answer will be here x minus z, and next one x z plus y square. Now next sum number three two. In sum number three two, you have five a to the power four minus five a cube plus thirty a square minus thirty a. So as here five a to the power cube common, so it becomes a minus one. Here thirty a common, so a minus one. The next one will be here a minus one into five a q plus thirty a. You can also common here five a, so it will be here a square plus six. So your final answer will be here five a into a minus one into a square plus six. Now next one sum number four. So here in sum number four one. B into C minus D whole square plus A into D minus C plus 3C minus 3D. Okay, so as here uh, B into C minus D whole square and as here D minus C, so you can come on minus, so it will be here minus A and then C minus D. Here 3 will be common, so C minus D. So that means here C minus D is common. So here you can write down b into c minus d because here square, then minus a plus three. So your final answer will be here c minus d. Here b c minus b d 
minus a plus 3. Now, next sum number 4, 2. x cube minus x square minus xy plus x plus y minus 1. Okay. So, as here, you can write down for this one. As here, x cube minus x square. So, you can come on x square. So, it will be here, here x, x minus 1. Okay. It will be here x minus 1. Now, the next one here minus x y and plus y okay minus x y plus y so if you come on minus y then again x minus 1 and the last one here also as here x and 1 so x minus 1 so you can write down this one as x minus 1 then here x square minus y plus 1 okay so that is your final answer next sum number 5 1 in sum number 5, 1, here x into x plus z minus y into y plus z. So, x square plus xz minus y square minus yz. So, as here x square minus y square, write down this one and here xz minus yz. So, it will be here x plus y, x minus y and next one, if you come on z here, it will be here x minus y. So, that means here x minus y is common. So, here x plus y plus z. That is your final answer. Next, move on to 5, 2. a to the power 12, x to the power 4, minus a to the power 4, x to the power 12. Okay. So, here you can common a to the power 4, x to the power 4. So, it will be here a to the power 8 minus x to the power 8. So, a to the power 4, x to the power 4. Now, here a to the power 8 means a to the power 4 whole square. Here, x to the power 4 whole square. So, a to the power 4, x to the power 4. Here, you can apply a square minus b square formula. So, a to the power 4 minus this one, x to the power 4. Now, you can also write down this one. That means, a to the power 4 minus x to the power 4 as a square plus b square and a square sorry not b square it's x square a square plus x square and this one also x square minus x square because here a to the power 4 means a square whole square and x to the power 4 means x square whole square so here a to the power 4 x to the power 4 a to the power 4 plus x to the power 4 a square plus x square and last one here a plus x a minus x so that is your final answer next sum number 6 1 9x square plus 12x plus 4 minus 16y square okay so as here 9x square so you can write down this one 9x square as 3x whole square the next one will be here 2 into 3x now leave a gap here and last one here as 4 so you can write down 4 as 2 whole square then definitely here value of b equal to 2 so 3 into 2 it's 6 6 into 2 it's 12 so here 12x and last one here 4 16 y square so you can write down 4 y whole square that means first you can write down 3x plus 2 whole square and then here 4 y square so now you can apply the formula a square minus b square so 3x plus 4 y plus 2 and the next one 3x minus 4y plus 2. Okay. Now let's move on to the next part. 6, 2. Here x to the power 4, 3x square plus 4. So x to the power 4 means x square whole square. Then here you can write down 2 into x square. And as here 4, so you can write down 2 square. So that will be here uh, 2. That means here 2 into 2, 4x square. So, you can write down minus x square. Because as here you have 3x square. So, 4x square minus x square, it will be 3x square. So, that means here x square plus 2 whole square. And then next one will be here x whole square. So, here x square plus 2 plus x. And then x square plus 2 minus x as your answer. Now, next sum number 7. Sum number 7, 1, we are 21x square minus 59xy 
plus 40 y square okay so as here 21 and 40 so factorize 21 and 40 so here 3 7 the 21 here 2 20 then here 2 10 then 2 5 okay so as here you have 59 remember that as here you have 59 so you can write down this one as 5 3 is 35 sorry 7 5 is 35 and then 3 into 2 6 6 into 2 12 um, and 12 into 2 is 24 so you can write down this one as 21 x square minus 35 x y and minus here 24 x y plus 40 y square it's middle term factorization method i know you know that so here 7x common so you can write down 3x minus 5y the next one here 8y common so you can write down here 3x minus 5y so your final answer 3x minus 5y and then 7x minus 8y okay now the next part number 2 number 2 here 4x cube y minus 44x square y plus 112xy okay so that means here first you have to come on here 4xy so here x square minus 11x plus 28 now here you have to uh, find out the factorization of this one by middle term factorization method and it will be here x minus 7 into x minus 4 now next one sum number 8 so here in sum number 8 1 x square y square minus x y minus 72 okay 72 means 8 9 the 72 so you can write down this one as x square y square minus x y plus 8 x y minus 72 so as here x y common so x y minus 9 here 8 common so x y minus 9 so here your answer x y minus 9 and here x y plus 8 next number 82 9x cube y 41x square y then here 20x y cube okay clear so first here you have to common x y then you will get here 9x square plus 41 x y plus 20 y square then by middle term factorization method you will get here as here 41 so definitely 36 plus 5 so your answer will be here 9x plus 5y and next one here x plus 4y now next sum number 9 1 for sum number 9 1 3a minus 2b whole square then plus 3 into 3a minus 2b minus 10 so for this kind of sum first here you have to let 3a minus 2b as x so therefore you can write down x square plus 3x minus 10 okay so as here by middle term factorization method you can write down x plus 5 into x minus 2 so as here the value of x equal to 3a minus 2b so plus 5 and next one here 3a minus 2b minus 2 that is your final answer now next sum number 9 2 so here in sum number 9 2 x square minus 3x that one x square minus 3x plus 7 plus 10 so again x square minus 3x that one equal to a so that imply you can write down a into a plus 7 that one a and that one also a plus 10 so a square plus 7a plus 10 okay a square plus 7a plus 10 so by middle term factorization method you can write down here a square plus 5a plus 2a plus 10 so that means here a plus 5 and next one a plus 2 now put down the value of x so x square minus 3x plus 5 and x square minus 3x plus 2 that is your final answer next sum number 10 1 here x square minus x into 4x square minus 4x minus 5 and then minus 6. 
okay so as here x square minus x so you can write down this one as a so next one here if you common 4 it will be here x square minus x that means 4a minus 5 minus 6 write down here let x square minus x equal to a that means here 4a square minus 5a minus 6 okay so here it will be 4a minus 8a plus 3a minus 6 that means here 4a plus 3 and the next one here it's a minus 2 okay so as here x square minus x as the value of a so 4 into this one plus 3 and the next one here x square minus x minus 2 so you can write down this one as 4x square minus 4x plus 3 and then next one here it's x square In place of minus x you can write down minus 2x plus x minus 2 so that means here 4x square minus 4x plus 3 and from the next one you can write down x minus 2 and x plus 1 as your answer okay now next sum number 10 2 x to the power 4 plus 9 x square y square plus 81 y to the power 4 so you can write down this one as x square whole square then here 2 into x square and as here 81 so 9 y square whole square that means b equal to 9 y square so 9 into 2 it's 18 so minus 9 x square y square so definitely it will be plus 9 x square y square as given so that means x square plus 9 y square it's whole square and that will be here 3 x y whole square so your answer will be here x square plus 9 x y square plus 3 x y and next one here x square plus 9 y square minus 3 x y 